We are going to do the security and protection patrol for civilians, as we do every day in the different neighborhoods of Bangui. Ali is one of 3,000 police officers deployed by the UN to the Central African Republic. Many are from Rwanda, Senegal or Cameroon. Ali is originally from Djibouti and believes the mission has improved security in Bongi. Despite a rise in armed robberies, crime is seldom connected to the ongoing civil war. Everything is calm. The population goes about its business. Areas outside of Bongi are more volatile with sporadic rebel attacks against President Toadera's regime, who is recruiting 900 police officers annually, while the UN peacekeepers provide training and help rebuild the infrastructure. There are some gaps in terms of resources, and that is what we are trying to provide. For example, there is no police station or gendarmerie brigade in certain areas, which makes it difficult. And so that's where MINUSCA can come and help. Peacekeepers also help with the response to the arrival of rising numbers of refugees. In the northeast, many have arrived from war-torn Sudan. Here, on the Chadian border, an unprecedented 37,000 asylum seekers need humanitarian aid. The humanitarian coordinator says he only has half the budget he needs to support 2 million people. Since the crisis in Ukraine, we have felt that the Central African Republic is no longer in the news. And besides, we have made several trips to Europe and the United States to try to remind people that in there is still a humanitarian situation that deserves attention here. So now with what is happening in the Middle East, unfortunately we think that the Central African Republic is at great risk of being forgotten. Many Central Africans welcome the UN's humanitarian missions, but as MINUSCA is limited by its non-offensive mandate, many people here also attribute their peace to Russian allies.